Um, I'm also going to keep my Estee Lauder double wear lipsticks because they're also in that same um, Last Chance Project pan along with my Chanel Mademoiselle wherever that is in the stash. Here it is, Chanel Mademoiselle. That is also in this project pan along with YSL's Rouge Volupt in the shade 1. So these are all older lipsticks that I really love, really enjoy, so I'm giving them till the end of the year to use them up. See, I'm not, I'm not completely being completely ruthless here. Like, lipstick is my weakness. If I absolutely adore a lipstick and it is still, it's getting on in years, if I absolutely adore it, I will keep hold of it and do my darndest to use it up. If I'm not loving it, it's just going to go. <laughs> um, there's a couple more lip finity ones to hold on to. I'm going to keep hold of my new Estee Lauder ones. We have the shades Intense Nude, which is gorgeous. Brazen, which scares the shit out of me, to be honest. Um, Bare Instinct, which is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, like, a wedding nude. What other ones are there? Where are they? This one is in Nude Cult. And I have a couple that are in sample packaging. We have um, Envious, which is a sort of bright red colour and Intense Nude again. Don't funny I have two Intense Nudes? Yes, I have two Intense Nudes. So this one is going to remain untouched. I'm going to pass that on to a friend. Someone that I think will adore that shade um but there was definitely another sample one they came in a set of three and it was like a pink one i think it was called powerful maybe i got rid of it already i don't know but hey ho we have this one as far as the old style sample ones go again i'm sure there should be three Maybe I've misplaced a bunch of lipsticks. Well, either way, the sample lipsticks. This one I will be keeping. This is Tiger Eye from Essay Lauder. I'm not sure if this is being transferred into the new range or not. They've come out with like a metallic version of the Color Envy range. But I'm going to keep hold of this one because I freaking love it. And here's the other one. This is in Rose Petal, which is a cream finish. And it's just, it's this like weird pearlescent shade that I'm just not. Like, give me metallic, give me frost, pearlescence. Uh, not, not a huge fan. And this is Electric Pink. Which just, no. It's some kind of disgusting barbiness. I mean... I could make it work, but it's not a colour that I'm going to gravitate towards, so I'll just let it go. I'm going to keep hold of my Maybelline Matte lipsticks because I actually do really enjoy these ones. I have six shades altogether. No, I have seven shades altogether. We have Rose Rush. Um magenta magnetic magenta we have a nude embrace divine wine clay crush craving coral which again is that gorgeous shade of orangey red that i adore but i love this particular one and we have siren in scarlet which is gorgeous Ooh, oh that's just oh that is nice it's very similar to that red 
the non the ravishing rouge though i just found a couple more lipsticks that were hiding back there a couple of milani ones um the other l'oreal red this one was julianne's red um these revlon matte lipsticks this is in strawberry suede i'm going to keep it to the side for the moment so i can see if i have a dupe of it because i freaking adore this lipstick so so much but it is beyond use now it's it's so old um i also have pink pout which is a a newer tube but still really old again i freaking love it i love the freaking color um I'm going to keep it to the side, see if I can find something similar. And then we have Really Red, which again, I freaking love. I just, I should have got more wear out of these lipsticks while I had the chance. Oh, it's actually really similar to Red Lizard. So I'm, I'm kind of okay with getting rid of it. Like I definitely have something that's exactly like it. I'm pretty sure Russian Red is very similar to this too. Oh my god, I love Russian Red more. That's the two of them side by side. I love Russian Red more. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with getting rid of Really Red. It's fine. Right, so I'm just going to clean off my hand for a moment and I'm going to swatch out the Soap and Glory... Sexy Mother Pucker lipsticks because I'm pretty sure there were a couple that I wanted to get rid of. I just can't remember which ones. So. Okay, so out of the seven of them, I'm only going to keep three. I'm keeping um, Fifth Avenue. We have a cinnamon, cinnamon beige. And Super Nude, which was my favourite out of the old formula anyways. So we have Super Nude, uh, Fifth Avenue and Cinnamon Beige. And the rest of them are, are kind of atrocious. So I'm going to get rid of them. We have Keep It Flesh, which, Jizo, uh, that's it swatched like there. Can you even see it? Uh, love and Obeige, that is that one there. It's it's nice enough, but not nice enough for me to keep it. Um, Barely Pinking, which is this guy here, and that's a swatch there. I have, I have way too many lipsticks that shade anyways to even consider keeping it. And then we have Nude Edition, which is this one. Swatch right there. And no, just not not my jam so it can go i'm gonna keep my gosh lipsticks i think i only have four Wait, can i see any more i can't see any more so we have the shades antique which is gorgeous the shade cinnamon again gorgeous raisin which wild dark is actually beautiful and then we have nougat because i fell in love with the lip liner so i wanted the lipstick to go with it um i'll just quickly swatch nougat so so nice so we're keeping those guys it's another nyx matte one to keep hold of um have these ones from Maybelline. They're one, two, three, four, five. Are there any other ones? I think just the five of them. I think these were part of, I actually don't even know what collection they were part of, to be honest. I only have five of them. I think I had more of them. I think I had like the complete set. 
and I got rid of some. I can't even remember what the range was actually called. I'm quickly going to take a peek at them and see what ones I want to keep. In all fairness, I could actually probably get rid of all five of them. Um, but I am going to keep the two reds. Um, we have Ravishing Rouge and Red Revolution. I'm going to keep hold of those guys for a little while longer. But the other three I'm going to get rid of. We have Sugar Plum. Um, Plum Passion. Yeah, it's Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum, Plum Passion and Mauve Mania. And I'm just not impressed by any of them. So they can all just go. I have my Clinique Black Honey Lipstick, which again is really kind of old, but I do really, really like it. It's it's that one that looks really scary, um, but goes on kind of sheer-like. I know I'm saying I want to keep this after getting rid of those three, but I do really like the Black Honey one. It's It's got more of a brownness to it, but I'm definitely going to try and use this up by the end of 2018, because I think that'll be just, it'll be dead by the end of then. my YSL ones I may be getting rid of one or two possibly just quickly go through these we have the shade 53 which I don't, I don't love I don't love so we're gonna get rid of you the shade 24, which evidently has had a child's finger in, again, I don't love. It's just, I want to really like it. I mean, I tried, I clearly tried very hard to like this lipstick, but it's just not, it's just not my thing. So I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, this is in the shade 10, which I do really like. So we'll keep that guy. This is the shade 205, which is again a very, very dark. It's really nice, but I have other things like it and I do find it very difficult to use. So we're going to get rid of this one. Shade 19. I know, I know. It's that pink again. It's that pink again, but I like this formula. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, this is in the shade 25, which I super, super enjoy. Um, just quickly. See, it's it's a very nice nude. I don't even. It's it's kind of reflective. I don't know if that's going to show up at all. Uh, the shade 06. I believe this is the shade beige tribute, or maybe it was shade 10 that was beige tribute. It's very light and sheer, but I do really like it. So we're gonna keep that one for now. And then we have the shade 04, which is this beautiful, beautiful red. It's very, very nice. So we're going to keep these five and get rid of those three. I never thought I'd be throwing away YSL lipsticks, but, you know, here we are. We're doing it. Other YSLs are the Rouge Pure Shine lipsticks, which I have five of. This one is in the shade of 47. It is a beautiful, and I've used quite a bit of it. This one is in 32, it's a bit of a brighter pink, but it's got a nice pep to it. Um, this one is in an unknown shade because it has rubbed off, as you can see. Um, but I think it might be either the shade 9 or the shade 6, but as you can see I've used a lot of it, so I'm, I'm going to keep it. I use it a lot. This one is in the shade 44. Again, I use this one quite a lot, so we're gonna keep hold of this. And uh, this one is in the shade 19, which is Fuchsia in Rage. And it's gorgeous. I need to use it more. It's probably my least used out of the five shades. So we're gonna keep them and we're gonna try our darndest to use them as much as possible. I have three, four. I have four shades from 
number seven. These are the Stay Perfect ones. This particular one is in the shade Tangerine Touch, which is it's a really old shade, but it's a really pretty color. But I, I have kept quite a few colors this shade. Okay, the lipstick, it reeks, so it's it's going to go. Um, this is Classic Rose. I just got lipstick on my nose. Oopsies. This is in shade Classic Rose. Very, very pretty. I think I'm going to keep hold of that for just now. Uh, we have Gay Geranium, which is like a classic number seven shade. Just look at that. That is stunning. I it's, it's similar to Tangerine Touch, but much more vibrant. So we're going to keep hold of that guy. And then lastly, we have Cinnamon cinnamon Spice, which is a beautiful brown there. So we're going to keep those three. My Guerlain lipsticks. If I don't use these by the end of 2018 I am going to declare them because I've had them for a good couple of years now. The This one is in Jiki, this one is in Samsara. That's what they look like. They're very very pretty. I just need to bloody well use them. Elizabeth Arden in the shade Sugar. Well it's sugar. It is beautiful. I'm going to keep it. We have my three Bobbi Brown lipsticks in brown, brownie, and beige. I have been giving these guys quite a bit of love lately, so I will be keeping hold of them. I have two more from Chanel. This is in the shade Indices. Um, one second, I need to wipe my hand again. I need to stop making my swatches so big is what I need to stop. What I need to. It is very pretty. It's like a more wearable version of Tiger Eyes. I'm going to keep hold of it for a bit longer. I know I probably should get rid of it, but I'm going to keep it. Uh, and then we have Superstition, which is... It's very, again, it's... I'm a sucker for these kind of shades though. If it's not, if these two aren't used by the end of 2018, they're going to go then. But for the moment, I'm going to keep hold of them because apparently I can't make a decision. Um, this is one from Lancome in Mirage Beige, which is a beautiful... It's just kind of really glossy. It's almost like non-existent, but I love the formula of it. So we're going to keep it. This one from Guerlain in the shade 11. Um, I believe this particular one is in Little Black Dress. I could be very, very wrong. But again, it's just a, a really nice glossy nude. I need to start using up my high-end lipsticks. We have... Uh, nude Spice from the Victoria Beckham collection it is so lovely. We're keeping hold of that. Um, Revlon lipsticks. Actually, before we do Revlon, I have one Kiko one. This is in the shade 404. It's kind of like a glossier version of Vanilla Spice. But I will be keeping hold of that because it's still relatively new. Um, but yeah, so Revlon lipsticks. I have so many Revlon lipsticks. This might take a while. Okay, out of all of them, there is only one I want to get rid of, and that is this shade. This is in the shade Chocolicious. Um, I don't know whether it was just my hand was too wet when I swatched it or... What? No, it's just. I don't know. Like, I like brown lipstick, but that's just. That's a bit too out there for me, even for me. I 
And that just leaves all of my L'Oreal lipsticks here. So we have Nude Gold, which I am keeping because just gorgeousness. It's very similar to Indices by Chanel, but we're going to keep it. Um, then we have Fever, which is a relatively new purchase, which I so love and I can't wait to just dig into. So we're going to keep that guy. And then we have all of these ones. All of these ones. So, um, yeah, this again may take a little while. So I will just do this off camera. Okay, and out of all of those, there are only two that I want to get rid of. Um, and that is, those are these two. We have um, Scarlet Cream, which is a, it's a pretty meh red to be honest. And then we have um, Electric Fuchsia, which is that guy there. And I'm gonna keep the rest of them. I think I misspoke at the start when I said there was 321, but I'd actually um, meant to say 341. Um, there is actually only 340. I must have counted one twice, but I will be removing these two. One is going to a friend. One is going in my makeup kit where it lives as far as lipsticks that are getting thrown away. Uh, they are all here. I just counted them all. There are 123 getting thrown away and the ones that are in the boxes here are what I'm keeping and there is a grand total of 215 lipsticks here. That is still a super stupid excessive number but um, I'm hoping to have that down. Hello cat! I'm hoping to have that down significantly by the end of 2018 because as I say there are a bunch of older higher end ones like these guys that if I don't use them by the end of 2018 they are going to go so I can see that this the stash will probably decrease by probably another 20 or so by the end of next year um, assuming I don't buy any more. I probably won't. <laughs> Because I, I, I think I have enough to contend with here. But, you know, this is me. I have a lipstick problem, evidently. <laughs> but I will be doing my darndest to try and keep that under control in 2018. But anyways, sorry this was so stupidly long-winded. But uh, it's lipstick. It's, it's my baby. And um, I wanted to make sure I was making the right decisions. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.